this Azure pickup or Azure, Azure, however you want to say it, it was another evening one. <clears throat> and sorry, I still have drainage. I'm recording this the week after we all had the flu and allergies and everything else. So I do still have drainage. So sorry if I'm clearing my throat a lot. But um, this was another evening pickup. It was 630 in the evening so I mean it's not super late but our normal pickup got messed up with the location and so we actually had to change locations for this pickup and the location we went to it wasn't that much further it was like double the time um, for me anyway but it wasn't that much further but we have construction going on on the interstate and the truck was actually late like about 45 minutes late and so we got back really late and so this is eight o'clock at night at this point no one has been fed dinner i did have dinner ready when before we left so um i was inside this is the day after this is like my first day of not having fever after having the flu so i still was not feeling great i hadn't gotten my energy or my strength back and so bryant thankfully was able to go and help us with this so he was unloading the big bags of, I got two different types of chicken feed. Let me see, I got 50 pounds of oats, old fashioned oats, and then I got 25 pounds of um, corn. And then that was a 20 pound box of apples. This will be our last time getting apples. And um, I did one more round and I was wanting to do applesauce and apple butter. But these apples already have not lasted very long. We keep eating them fresh. And so um, they've been really good. We've had a very good apple season. Getting them through Azure. And um, we're going to miss our apples until the next time. So this is the yogurt. I believe I got some yogurt last time. So I, I, I think I only got three. I usually only buy it in three. But I went ahead and got six. Now this was a double shipment, one is vanilla bean flavored, one is plain yogurt and that is because when I was, when my order was about to close before they shipped it, it said there was only five vanilla bean left and so I added the plain on my order two just in case the vanilla bean didn't ship, I at least got plain and they both ended up shipping. So we do have a lot of yogurt but that's fine, I do use it for baking and other things too so it's going to get used up. Now, this is some Raymond noodles, ramen noodles, however you want to say that one. And um, I did not order this. The box had my name on it, um, but I did not order it. And so I, of course, didn't know that um, this was not something that was supposed to be in my order until I'm here at home. Like, I'm looking at the box right now, making sure that is my name. And it is my name on the box, but this is not anything that I would have ordered. We did end up using some. I just um, cooked some in some bone broth and added some seasonings and kind of made a soup out of it since we had all been kind of not feeling well. And it was pretty good. And this is brown rice and millet. Um, ramen noodles or ramen noodles, however you want to say that one. And um, so it, it was pretty good. We're going to use it. I did call them. If anything like this gets messed up or you're missing something or had an extra item, just call them, let them know. They're very good with working with you. Excellent customer service, especially this day and age where customer service doesn't exist. And um, so they reimbursed me for what I didn't get, which was some iron corn pasta and they didn't charge me for these so um it, that, it was very nice it, it worked out now this is the jovial einkorn pasta that i did get i was supposed to get a different i well, I was supposed to get these but in place of the ramen noodles i was supposed to get a another kind of einkorn pasta so that's that's the ramen noodles got shipped instead of my other pasta which is fine i added it to my next order and hopefully i will get it then um, and then that was, before this pasta, that was um, two five pound blocks of raw cheddar cheese, which is absolutely fantastic. I make sure that we stock up on that and um, <clears throat> it lasts us for quite a while. So I finally got my pineapple. Um, I've been trying to get this for I think two or three months now. Um, we like pineapple when we do pizzas and the kids like to just eat it out of the can. 
and so I finally did get my pineapple. Then I did get applesauce. I still have a few cans of applesauce that I did with our first round of apples that we bought this season. Um, but I don't have very much and uh, so I've been kind of saving it for when I make applesauce bread because the kids really like that. And so I went ahead and got these few jars of applesauce. The kids really like this applesauce so they were very excited when they saw that I got it. This is some graham crackers and um, it has decent ingredients. There are still some ingredients in there that I don't like us eating a lot. I mean, nothing too terrible. It's like if you're going to be picky. Um, but it, it's good graham crackers. Bryant really likes them. The kids like them. It has a good flavor and I like to use them for a crust um, whenever I do cheesecake. So I did get my butter. I can't remember. Oh gosh, I wanted to say her name. Somebody commented on my last Azure video says they finally got their butter after several months. And so I wanted to be like, yes, I got my butter too. Um, but I forgot to look up her name, who it was. If it will tell me, I'm not sure if it will tell me. But um, yes, I finally got my butter. And I had to check it because I thought that the blue wrapper is usually unsalted. Um, but this one is salted. My, uh, my The ones that I have left of this butter, it's a red wrapper for salted. But um, So I guess they changed it. But um, yeah, this is salted butter. It is my favorite butter to use. It has gone up so much though. So it's kind of, it was pretty expensive for me to get that much of it. But I did get um, the Mother's Choice. I got six of those to kind of use those when we're just spreading on toast or bread or something. And here I got some tomato basil sauce. Um, this is our pasta sauce that we use. We also use it on pizzas. We use it on a lot of things. So I got quite a few of those. Then we were out of raisins. I couldn't remember. It's been a while since I had bought raisins because it, it, um, it I, I got quite a bit last time. And so I couldn't remember if I had gotten five pounds or I did like two or three pounds so and I couldn't remember which you can go back and look but this Azure order was very unorganized for me it kind of there's a lot going on around where this one was ending and so um, it was very unorganized so I could have gone back to see what raisins I got but I didn't so I just got two different kinds and they were excited the kids were excited to get raisins again this toothpaste that I'm taking out, Bryant really likes this one. I use this brand as well, but I use a different flavor. I use a spearmint and he likes this one here. Um, that was the rest of my mother's choice butter. And then I got some grape seed oil. I know there's a whole big thing right now with seed oils and we actually don't use um, seed oils and try to stay away from them as well but we do like it better than avocado oil whenever I make the mayonnaise so I got some more that is toothpaste a kids toothpaste that I wanted to try to use I'm not sure if they're gonna like it it smells kind of um, herbally spicy because it's from the North American Herb and Spice Company um, but we'll see then the big jar was apple juice that is our favorite apple juice haven't been able to get that lately and then the other one was um, dishwashing detergent and then we are out of our favorite cereals again and so instead of only getting three boxes I got um, the larger portion I believe it's six boxes of each so the koala crisp are the chocolate and then the gorilla munch um, is kind of like a corn puff and the kids really enjoy this and they were very excited to have our cereals back in stock. 